Hi everyone, this is your art tutorial um, for this week for year five and six and what I thought we'd do today is start off on an interesting new topic um, and our theme is going to be all about earth and outer space and planets and rockets and all that kind of thing. So to start with, um, I've chosen an artist, he's one of my favourite artists actually, um, that we're going to look at to inspire a piece of work that we're going to create. Now, what we're going to aim to do today is make something called a composition. So if you're not sure what a composition is, it's basically the part of the artwork where you're designing and planning out what your end picture is going to look like. So it's the bit where you start with a piece of paper and it's completely plain and then you decide what you're going to draw and where you're going to position it on the page. So it's all about positioning your pictures and images, okay? So we're going to keep it simple today because Peter Thorpe is actually um, an abstract artist. So abstract art is a little different to um, some types of artwork because it's a little bit more unrealistic. And what I mean by that is, um, you'll see when I show you his pictures, you know what they're meant to be, but they're not drawn in a very lifelike way. So it could be sort of more of a graphic style or a cartoon style. Um, with his work, it's got lots of lovely shapes and lots of lovely colours. So I'll just hold up and show you on the camera, just close up on a couple of them. So you can see here, he's very well known for doing um, pictures of rockets flying in outer space. Now they're quite simple in their design. The shapes aren't overly complicated. And most of them, even though they're all different, you can see they feature a rocket and it might be a rocket that's in flight or it might be a rocket that's about to land. And then in the background, you can see some different sized circles and obviously those represent different planets. I'll show you some of those as well, just to show you the variety. Look at the size of the planet in that one, powdered orbit. And then that's the Mars landing. Okay. I like this one, rocket hashtag 25, because it looks like the rocket's just about to take off and launch. You've got all those beautiful bright colours dispersed all the way around the edge. Um, rocket hashtag 51. I like the flames at the bottom coming out of the rocket. Okay, and then rocket race. You've got actually two rockets in that composition and a really nice, simple choice of colours, so it's predominantly red and blue and purple and then he's done the rockets in a lighter colour to make them stand out with those lovely streams of fire coming out of the back. Okay, so that's the artist. You can Google him as well and have a look because he's got lots and lots of different images that you might feel inspired by. So I'm just going to move those out of the way a second and all you need for today is a piece of paper. It can be um, preferably white but if you haven't got white don't worry too much um, just a pale colour would be good and then you could use a compass um, if you don't have one though which you probably won't have at home I've just got some different size lids so I've just raided the art cupboard and I've just found these three lids off different pots and jars so you can see I've got a large one, a medium one and a small one. So um, rather than attempting to draw a circle freehand, always best to try and find something to draw around or better still if you've got a compass. Um, a ruler would be useful today. Again, if you haven't got one, don't worry. And I'm going to draw my composition, my plan in Sharpie pen so that it stands out. But you can do it in pencil. OK, in fact, it's probably better that you do because next week's tutorial I'm going to go through some painting techniques with you and if you use pen today to draw your picture then the pen's going to smudge when you put the paint on it next week okay now for no particular reason whatsoever other than just to make it a bit different I've drawn a square on my piece of paper you don't have to you can draw your design and it fills the whole page if you want um, so it's entirely your choice but I just thought for a change um, I'd do um, a square 
painting rather than a rectangle. So we're going to begin um, with drawing a rocket. Now, a rocket, I would advise you for this just to keep the shape quite simple. So I'm going to do my rocket in the middle and it looking like it's flying off in that direction. So I'm going to draw the lines in a diagonal way. So it's got a slight curve on the side. So the first line you'd want to do is a curved line like that. And then usually obviously at the top end of the rocket, it's pointed. So I'm just going to carefully draw another curve down there. Now here's where a ruler is quite useful, but as I said, if you don't have one at home, you could always um, draw across something with a straight edge, like a book or a magazine, or um, you could draw the lines freehand. I'm just going to start to put some very basic lines and patterns on here. So remember we're doing an abstract picture, so it's not essential that your rocket has lots and lots of detail. In fact, it's better if it's a little bit more basic in its design and shape. So I'm going to put some um, small oval shapes along here just to look like little uh, windows. And then I really liked the designs that Peter Thorpe had done with the flames and the fire. So I'm going to do a wiggly line going right out to the edge of my box. And in there, just another wiggly line for the flames. Now I'm going to add on more curves on the side because obviously we want our rocket to look like it's launching and it's gone through the atmosphere and it's in flight. So some curves at the side there. And then if you want to, you could add a few more bits of line and detail. But as I said, don't um, do too much on it because I think for this particular piece, uh, simple is better. Okay, because you're going to get, um, you're going to make it look more interesting when we start to put the colour on. So there's my basic rocket shape. Okay, really simple. Now using the um, circles and the lids that I showed you earlier, I just want to put in some planets or circles that symbolise or represent planets. So I'm going to start with the large one and I'm going to hold it with my left hand and draw around it as neatly as I can with my right hand. Now what you need to watch with this is that you don't draw over your rocket. So can you see I've stopped there and there? Okay, so it looks like the planet's in the background. I think I'm going to use the smaller one, and this time I think I am going to draw over the planet to create a kind of crossover pattern. Remember, it's abstract, so it doesn't have to look real life. Um, it's getting there, but you've got all this plain area here. So freehand, that just means without using a stencil or a guide, I'm going to do a nice curved line that goes right from that edge of the box to the other. And then I'm going to bring it back, but this end's going to be narrow, and then this end's going to be a bit wider. And then I'm going to use my ruler, I think, to put a couple more lines across here, so cutting right through there and then we'll go like this right through. So watch the rocket again, you want that in the foreground, so you want that at the front of the picture, so put your lines behind. Okay, so there's my composition, so that's my basic design and it's included a rocket, it's got planets, it's got some lines, so it looks quite basic and abstract. So have a go at designing a composition this week and get it ready. You could do more than one and then choose your favourite one. Um, bear in mind, you might draw it and then think, actually, I think it looks better that way or that way. So it really doesn't matter. It's entirely your choice, okay? So get a composition ready for next week. So do a few and then choose your favourite one. 
and then in next week's tutorial I'm going to go through with you some um, watercolour paint techniques. So here's one that I've done um, to show you. We're going to go through a few different methods of applying the colour and um, gives you a bit of opportunity and time if you haven't got any paints to try and get some before next Friday. If you don't think you're going to be able to get any, it's not the end of the world. You'll be able to use pencil crayon or felt-tip pen and you'll get an equally successful outcome. But painting is something that I'd like you all to be practicing. So if you can get hold of some paints, then get those ready for next Friday when we're going to start going through how to apply the colour. Okay, so good luck. Come up with a lovely design. And remember, you are creating a composition. So you are deciding where to position the lines and the pictures on your paper. Okay, good luck and I'll see you soon.